بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الأخوة والأخوات الطلاب والطالبات أرحب بكم في درس جديد لمنهج ميجا جول 2 وتحديدا الدرس الحادي عشر في الصفحة 64 In this uh, class, inshallah, we are going to have the uh, grammar uh, part, which is meaning and function. We, we're going to, inshallah, go over uh, three main topics, uh, which covered by different uh, specifications. Let's now uh, start by the first topic, which is the, the, the clauses. L let's first... Um, d discuss what's the clause or what's, what's a clause. Actually, a clause is a sentence that contains of subject, verb, object. So this is the clause. And then we have another clause which included a word or something like yet, um, after, or, uh, and so on. Let's now, let's now make a diagram in here to show you what's a clause. So a clause is a sentence. Okay. In English, we have the, the full English sentence, which, which contains of subject, verb, object. So we have subject, verb, object. The subject can be a noun, can be a noun, can be one of the uh, subject pronouns. For example, he, she, it, we, they, and so on. Or as I said, one of the nouns, for example, Ahmed. Let's mention this here, Ahmed. A verb can be a main verb or helping verb. The helping verb is divided into different parts. The main three parts are verb to be, verb to do, and verb to have. And of course, you know what each one of them consists of. Then we have the main verbs, which is the verb that we use in our daily language. For example, touch, go, come, speak, see, do, sleep, and so on. For example, read. The object is the last part of a sentence, as you see or as you know, that the action in the English sentence came from the subject, started in this part, and then moved to the verb, and then occurred here, the object part. For example, Ahmed, read a book. This is a full English sentence, an English sentence that contains of subject, verb, object, okay? So that this is the main clause or the clause. Now we'll go to another part of clauses, which is a clause that contains certain words. For example, we have yet. We have yet. We have and. We have or, we have pot. Each one of these words, each one of these words used as a clause, as a certain clause, as an independent clause. For example, if I want to use one of these, th these called actually connectors or conjunction words that actually connect one part to another part of sentences. If I want to use them, I'll start by a sentence, a main sentence, a real sentence, and then I'll use one of them to make or to structure the, the sentence that include 
the independent clause. So, Khaled is a very good student but so now I'll use the conjunction or the conjunction word which is but but he has many absence let's now break out this sentence this is Khaled is a noun is a subject is a very good student so this is a sentence which is a clause and we have another clause which is the independent clause that has subject and verb and object if we for example if we look at this sentence we will find that this sentence contains of subject verb object for example he is the subject okay and has is the verb okay while many absences is the object so this is the the way we can structure or we can make a sentence that contains of a, a an independent clause and a main clause so this is the main clause and this is the independent clause we can start writing or we can have this this way of of sentences but we will change the the the, the sentence into another way for example we'll put the independent clause at the beginning and the main clause at the end let's try this please Okay, so we can say and many of teachers do this job comma so now we have something new we have something we didn't mention earlier so whenever we start the the independent clause or whenever we we start the writing the independent clause and we have the word like and yet and so on we have to end the sentence or we have to differentiate between the 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 the, the, the independent clause and the main clause by having a comma so this job one of them is not here so and many of teachers do this job one of them is not here so all the teachers or many teachers are doing this job for example they are correcting papers or doing something else but one of the teachers who involved in this process is not here so as you see we started by the the independent clause and we differentiate or we ended up the sentence by a comma and then we have the main clause This is about independent clauses. We have something else, which is the second topic, as I mentioned earlier, that is the, 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 the independent clauses with the past simple, with the past simple. L let us uh, first talk a little about the simple past, and then we'll go deeply in this. The simple past is one of the English sentence, tenses, or the tenses that used in English language. 
When we say past, we mention something that happened in the past and done. This is a simple past, of course. So, if we, for example, imagine that this is the timeline, and here we have the present, what's happening now. For example, I'm teaching you now. This is present, okay? While this one is future, something that is going to happen in the future. So, the, the, the simple past is here, something happened and done. Of course, we can know that this verb and, and the past tense are not by ending up the, 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 the word or the verb by ed. For example, we have many words or many verbs in past. For example, we have closed, we have touched, we have imagined and we have other words or other verbs which is the irregular verbs any any or it's it must to, to learn this or to know this because any learner of English language must have this in his mind the irregular verbs irregular verbs are verbs that doesn't take ed for example we have go the past of it is went, okay? As you see, doesn't have ed. Another example, break. The past of break is broke. And another example, um, let's say for example, C is so. And of course, we have something called the past participle, which is the, the, the third, the third uh, type of verbs from the main verb. All these are main verbs in the uh, past form or in the past tense. But for now, we'll talk about how we can make a sentence that contains of independent clause and a simple tense. Or a simple past. Let's remove this. Uh, the, the, the independent clause, as I said, as I mentioned earlier, is a sentence that contains of subject, verb, object. And here, in this part, we'll have more words that related to independent clauses. We have before, we have after, we have as soon as, this is actually, this one is as soon as, as soon as, all these words can use in a clause and the other clause contains of a simple uh, past. Let's now have some examples. Before I entered or let's Before I enrolled to primary school, so before I enrolled, enrolled here means when I go to primary school. Primary school is the, the, the first stage of having learning after you reach to six uh, years old as a child. So before I enroll to primary school, so this is the independent clause, which contains of before as a, as a clause, and then we have I as a subject, enrolled is the verb, to primary school is the object, as we mentioned earlier. 
So before I enrolled to primary school, now we'll have a comma. Before I enrolled to primary school, my brother passed. Okay. So before I enrolled to primary school, my brother passed. So before my or before I enrolled to primary school, my brother passed. So this is the main clause which is or which contains of subject and verb and object. This one, my brother, my is the subject, brother is the verb or the noun actually, and passed as the is the uh, verb. We'll have another example. As soon as I got, or as soon as I have Comma. One more time, as soon as I have the passport, my wife booked the flights. So in this sentence, we, we use this as an independent clause. As I said, it contains of subject, verb, object, and then we put a comma, and we have the main clause, which is, my wife booked the flights. My wife booked the, fl the flights. As you see here, we have booked, which is the simple past, which is the simple past. For now, we'll, we'll move to another topic within this function and meaning. Let's remove this first. Okay, uh, this is the last um, topic of our uh, lesson today, which is the, 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 the using of conditional sentences plus present simple. Actually, the conditional sentences used or we use them to show the, the, the reason of such a thing that happened in present. Uh, of course, we know that the, the word or the main word used in conditional sentences means, or it's F, okay? So if we have conditional sentences type one, two, three, but today we will um, focus on one of the parts which is working with the um, present simple. So if If I have 
something in the class. Of course, we have to have used comma. My students help me. So this is the F clause. F plus a subject, verb, object, and the main clause also contains of subject, verb, and object. Let's have another example. Let's remove this one. Yeah. Perfectly. Comma. I can speak fluently. Fluently means you speak in a good way in any of the languages. Okay guys, that's all for today. Thank you very much.